James here from DragonBlogger.com. Today with a little walkthrough of the software for the Ink Mega Mini Wi-Fi camera. This camera is like a baby camera, security camera. You know, it's a multi-purpose uh, camera for your house. You open up the Play App Store or the Play Store or your App Store on the Apple iPhone. Go to the search bar, type in YCC365+. Plus, and as you can see, it already popped up right here. Now... We're gonna shows you what you can do. 360 fisheye camera, sound and motion video sharing, two way calls, you know stuff like that. We're gonna click install. This is gonna install it on our on our stuff. Shouldn't take that long to install, I wouldn't think. As you can see, I already done 100 percent. Now we're installing. This might take a second. For some reason the screen ain't showing up. So we'll just close up. Oh, there it is. It pops up. All right. So now that the screen is up. It says hi or log in. You guys won't see my stuff. Okay, now that we're logged in, as you can see, ignore battery optimization. Let the app, you know, stay connected. We're going to click no. There is a new version available. Please update. So we'll update this. We'll install. We're going to decline that for right now. We're going to allow. Now that we're open, we're going to pop open. Policy. You just pretty much it acts, tells you what it's about. To guarantee of the application uh, core services to receive information pushing from the device at time. Part. So now you have a few options. Down at the bottom, you have the mine. That tells you about your account, your password, and all that stuff. You have the cloud service. You can actually make a cloud service. You have free 30 days, or you can sign up, and uh, you can uh, pay, I think it's like $4 a month. You have a messaging center. You have to have the app, the cloud service. We're not really worried about that. So we have the device itself. You can power it on and off. Right here, you guys can see see it powered off. The device is closed. Over here, in the tools, you can let you change the device name, living bedroom, second bedroom, entrance, meeting room. We're going to leave it a living room. You have the device time zone, device switch, device off at. So you can set up a time to shut it off. Like if you're home, you know you're going to be home. Or if you're going to have, you know, times that you don't want it to record, you can actually do that. Device microphone, alarm tone, night vision, image rollover. So that's like if you set it up in a certain part of the room and you need to flip the screen. Intelligent tracking, which means it'll follow you around the room. Device details, private share, motion detection, sound detection, Push notification settings, device storage, play from videos, and then you have reboot and rename device. So if you go and push notifications, you know, you can receive notifications or stop notification times, receive app notifications, receive email. Now, like I said, if you click this over here, this is where you'll actually set up your device, your camera. If you click the image, you can do it by QR code. Additional by connecting network enabled like your Ethernet cable or something like that. Additional AP hotspot. I use QR code. It tells you, you know, connect the app, the, the camera to the wall, set and reset for five seconds, and then place next to the router and then connect to the router. Then you click that, it'll actually have you log on to the router. Then it'll show a QR code which you put in front of your camera. I'm not gonna do that because I already have that part set up. 
So we're not going to worry about that. We're going to back out. And I'm going to show you guys the camera itself because it's already on. Click it on. It shows you living room. It shows you time. Sound, as you guys could heard, I think you guys could hear it. If not, I'll click my finger. Well, try to. It's not really tracking me at the second. Not sure why. Let's see. Tracking me. It is tracking me. You can take a screenshot by this button here. Screen. You can zoom in. It's pretty cool. Or you can zoom out. You can get the settings that we were just in before up here. Now down here, here it gives you this thing. You have some messages, missed messages. Down here, if you click more, you, you can record green. Or go to Cloud Album. We'll go back. You can switch from HD to SD quality. Or if you click this button, it'll actually let you, you know, record audio. Click that. You can yell through the screen. Like, hey, you, get out of my house. Which is all pretty cool. Now, this little part right here in this middle section is where you can actually control the camera yourself. Or, you know, add a presentation. We'll zoom over. See my router. Can't barely see the TV, even. It's a really big TV. Or I can just tap my fingers. As you guys can see, it's coming back to me. All pretty cool. You have the option to click play video. This is live play, so this is, you know, what's going on right now. Click it back. It'll let you play the video that you recorded. So pretty much that's the software for the YCC365 Plus software for the Ink Mega camera. And I thank you for checking out this video. Keep your eyes out for more on DragonBlogger.com where I'll have the actual test of the camera. I'm going to actually let it run and test through the house. I'm going to actually do a full written review. So I thank you for checking out this video. Keep your eyes out for more on DragonBlogger.com. To come. Disclaimer. This product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dvdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on DragonBlogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.